down and move in for the attack. No. He's using a device that tells him our strengths as well as our location. Safe to say he probably knows we're close by. Gotcha. I'm guessing that means we just gotta meet him head on. some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. I'm ready whenever you are. Let's do this. All right. Let's do this. Oh! 
Yo! <laughs> Thanks. Uh... <laughs> Thank you! Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Thank you. No. <laughs> All right. Can I count on you?
What do you think? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> hmm. Thank you. Yeah. See ya. Goodbye.
Huh? What's this? A power level of 710. Where the hell? Kakarot's kid? No way! Damn, this thing must be busted! What? Another reading? And it's heading straight for me! There's one? No, there's two. With power levels 322 and 334. They've come. So, what brings you chumps here? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to get my son back. Where is he? You're hiding him somewhere, aren't you? His screaming was giving me a headache, so I locked him up in there. But forget about the rot. Don't tell me you actually think you stand a chance against me. You fool! You're not even fit to call yourself a Saiyan! Prepare to die! combined power, you're still pathetic. But considering you weren't smart enough to heed my warning, don't deserve to live. You, you gotta be kidding me! You know what? Since you're going to die anyway, I might as well tell you something. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. If you've got a new attack hidden up your sleeve, now's the time to use it, Goku! <laughs> Sorry. I'm fresh out. <laughs> Lucky for you, I actually came up with a new technique while I was training. Really? A plan? Ha! It'd be easier just to lie down and wait for the sweet release of death! I'm just gonna need enough time to charge up the proper energy for it. <clears throat> gonna need you to keep him busy while I deal with this. Got it. I'll do what I can. Hope you're ready for this. Special Beam Cannon! Huh. You just don't know when to quit. You? Alone? What were you two trying to decide? Who gets to die first? We ain't planning on losing. Take this! Here goes! The playtime's over! Here goes! No way! 
on. Daddy's gonna save you. Over. <laughs> Are you actually that stupid? No one can save you. You'll be long dead before that can happen. Control over his energy? You let your guard down! You now I've got your tail! Damn it! When did you? Good work, Goku! Hold on to that tail and don't let go no matter what! Wait! Let me go! I'll leave this planet in peace! Don't listen to him, Goku! He's trying to trick you! Please, please, believe me, brother. I'm begging you, Kakarot. Don't do this to your only family! I can't believe you fell for it! You might actually be the dumbest guy I've ever met! Don't think I'm going to show you mercy just because you're my little brother. 
Yes! Yes! That's what I like to hear! It'll all be over soon! <laughs> Don't get comfortable! You're next! Damn, if I try to hit him now, he's just going to dodge it! Just were. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe that Kakarot would just throw away his own life. You idiot. Trust me, Goku won't be dead for very long. What? Didn't you know? This planet is home to the Dragon Balls. They grant wishes. Absolutely any wish imaginable. Even bringing someone back from the dead. Uh, damn it. Well, my comrades will be happy to hear that. <laughs> Everything you just said was transmitted to them on the other side of the universe once they've learned that i've died they will come here how long until then when when will they when do you think they'll get here a year just one year from now <laughs> damn it one year before even stronger warriors arrive you two have no hope of beating them. Enjoy what little time you have left. <laughs> I... I see. That's pretty much it. Come on, Goku! Hang in there! It's not like you to give up so easily! <laughs> Krillin, you know... Dying... It's a lot worse than I thought it would be. Uh, yeah, but... Don't you worry! We're gonna bring you back really soon! <laughs> Thank you! Goku! What the? He's gone! Interesting. I bet Kami has something to do with this. Eh? Well, I guess we can put our minds at ease if Kami's involved. You guys need to get the Dragon Balls. Kami doesn't possess the power needed to bring someone back to life. Also, Goku's kid will be coming with me for the time being. Eh, what? Uh, you're kidding, right? What are you gonna do with him? With a little training and the right teacher, that kid could be capable of serious power. 
We're going to need all the power we can get before those two Saiyans show up in a year's time. Me training this little runt is our best shot to stand a chance. Once Goku's revived, tell him he'll get his son back and in better shape than he left him. Meanwhile, on a planet far, far from Earth. Raditz, the bastard went and got himself killed. He always was an embarrassment. Still, I must admit, I'm very interested in these Dragon Balls. So they're capable of granting any wish? All right, let's go. We're gonna bring Raditz back from the dead? Don't make me laugh. We have no more use for that dead weight. We could wish for eternal youth, for immortality. Can you imagine it? Nothing could possibly stand in our way. Sounds good to me. Count me in! Invigorated by the prospect of attaining immortality with the Dragon Balls, the two Saiyans made their way to Earth. And that is why I brought him here as he is, to be trained further. Therefore, if it is agreeable to you, King Yama, I humbly ask that you allow him to meet with King Kai. Hmm, I see. So you intend to take this heaven-bound soul and subject him to the grueling 625,000-mile-long snake way so he can meet King Kai. Indeed. Very well. If you wish to see King Kai, then I suggest you be on your way. However, I should warn you that no one has ever, ever made it successfully, other than myself, of course, in over 100 million years. Must be one heck of a journey. I better get started. By the way, did a guy named Raditz come through here? Yes, we've got him marked down for hell, of course. Did he put up much of a fight? <laughs> he sure did. He definitely didn't go quietly, but I sorted him out. Whoa! You must be one heck of a strong guy! So, you were sent along with him, huh? I am the great King Yemma. I occupy a position above that of the Earth's Guardian. Do you know what that means? That means you're crazy strong, right? You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. Of course I'm strong! But it's not just my strength that serves me in this position. You need brains to do this kind of managerial work. Mana... mana what work? Now then, to help you better understand my work, let's give you a little quiz. Uh, well, um, actually kind of in a hurry. Well then, if that's going to be your attitude, then I guess you don't need to see King Kai. Oh, what? No way! Okay, okay, I'll take the quiz. Why didn't you say that from the beginning? Anyway, let's begin. I'll let you through if you can answer all of my questions correctly. That's right. He made a mess of enough planets to earn himself a place in hell. In fact, he's one of the biggest pains we've ever had to deal with. Right, next question. Correct, of course I am. I am much more powerful. Isn't that right, Kami? Ah, yes, King Yama. You are more powerful. Right, next question. That's right. No matter where they're from, all who die come here. Like your brother. He wasn't an Earthling. Next question. 
Not bad. That's correct. Those pesky Dragon Balls are indeed how you do it. I hate those things. It's like my job doesn't even matter. Who created those blasted balls anyway? Care to shed some light on that, Kami? Oh, uh, Kingyama, I... Whatever. Moving on. Sorry. Huh? What? This is the fifth question, right? Really? Um, one, two... Hmm... Of course it was, I... I was just testing you. And you passed the test. Well, that was the true fifth question. There's that trademark denial of his. Hmm... I heard that, Kami! Maybe I'll send you to hell when it's your time. Oh, please forgive me, your highness. Boy, he's got one hell of a sense of hearing. <laughs> oh, you think you're some sort of funny man. Hm. That's enough of all this. I will allow you to see King Kai. Wow, really? Thanks a bunch, Mr. Yemma. Don't tell me you've forgotten who you're talking to. No, 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 Mr. I'm King Yemma. I haven't. <laughs> That's more like it. If you're going to see King Kai, then go. Well, this is where we part ways. Good luck, Goku. Thanks. I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm pumped to meet this King Kai guy. Time to wake up, kid. You've slept long enough. Huh? Who, who are you? Listen up. Time for a reality check. Your daddy is dead, okay? He sacrificed himself to kill the man who kidnapped you, in case you forgot. If his friends are vigilant and able to find the Dragon Balls, they can bring him back. However, we've got other things to deal with. Though we were able to defeat Raditz, it sounds like we've got two of his buddies to worry about a year from now. If that's really the case, your father and I probably aren't going to be enough to take these guys down. We need power. Your power. You're going to have to learn to fight and defend the Earth. Gohan's Crash Course in Survival. B but... I... 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 I'm no... I'm no good at fighting! Quit your whining! Once I'm done whipping you into shape, you'll be tough enough for anything. Got it? So, you're gonna train me? Okay, what do I have to do? You have to live out here on your own, without distraction. I'm giving you six months. If you're able to survive for that long, I'll teach you how to fight. See ya.
I'm all alone. Twerp? Didn't go and get himself killed already, did he? Someone wants to die. I'll make quick work of you. Someone wants to die. I hope the weakling is prepared to die. <laughs> Looks like someone wants to die. What the hell are those things? My kid's probably got his hands full right now. Guess I'll have to take care of them myself. Cut 
my time at this point. I don't need to go there. Time to check on that little rug rat. Hopefully throwing him to the wolves toughened him up. to fight the Saiyans. His latent power is our only shot. <laughs> Fine. Just this once, I'll throw him a bone. Looks like there's only apples to eat around here. Oh well. Probably not enough. Maybe there's some around here. All right, this is all he's getting. Huh? <gasps> 
him at least. Oh, it's the moon! Whoa, it's so big and round! This is the first time I've seen a full moon. What the? There won't be any Earth to protect if this keeps up! We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even chumps like you should know that. That's right! The full moon! Imagine a kid had such a transformation in him. Must be a Saiyan blood. Looks like he needs a full moon and that tail of his to transform. Better get rid of it now. Now that that's taken care of, here's some clothes and a sword. I've got my own training to get to, so you're on your own again. If you can somehow manage to survive the next six months, then you will have earned the honor of being trained by the great Piccolo. You're gonna wish you'd never been born when I'm done with you. Hope you're ready. What the? No way the Saiyans are here yet, but I'm sensing incredible power. Better go check it out. <laughs> 